peace to the family. Peace, peace, peace. I'm getting on a little bit later than I wanted to, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Good morning, Jazz. But yeah, I um, said I'm going to come do a live every morning. At least try to do a live every morning, once a day. Um, yesterday, we talked about self-revelization or realization and understanding why you're feeling the way you're feeling. Um, today, I just kind of want to talk about business and stepping out on faith because we started our business in 2017. Um, that year, spent so much money on products. And I was like, all right, we're going to do this. Those products lasted us for a whole year. <laughs> it took a whole year to get rid of that inventory. The next year, did the same thing, bought a little bit more products. Uh, did more advertising and just those products didn't last us a whole year. Um, but this year, literally every two weeks, y'all, I am restocking. Every two weeks. Um, so with that being said, literally just take a step out on faith um, and investing in yourself. Because once you start investing in yourself, the um, no matter how slow it takes, it's going to be worth it. Um, that's all we've been doing this past summer is just investing in our business, whether it's with marketing or products, uh, getting new products. But that's probably one of the best things that I could have done as a business owner was just invest in myself and our business. Because uh, when I tell y'all, I was just like, oh my goodness, we got all these products. Like, spent a lot of money. <laughs> but now it's, that was back in March. And now it's like, okay, okay, I see, I see what I'm doing. So literally just taking a step on our faith, trusting your process, trusting your talent, your gifts, whatever they may, may be. Yep, yeah, at first you're, gonna, you're not going to earn a lot. You're going to spend way more than you're going to have a big loss like your first year, two years, maybe even hell, three years. But I'm telling you guys, if you just keep on, keep on, keep on investing in yourself, it's okay to get down, but be down for a second and then just keep it moving. Like, all right, let me figure out something else to do. Because um, investing in yourself is literally the best thing you can do. Fear is a whole different, a whole different discussion. Um, we can definitely talk about it, though. When you fear your greatness, you're just standing in your way. Because that's all you're fearing. You're fearing your greatness. You're not really scared of the process. You're not anything like that. You're just afraid of being great. And it's like we, that's how we sabotage ourselves. We get real, real close. And then we get scared. Get scared of our greatness. I've been there. Um... It didn't last long. Like, you can't let it last long. Because um, if you do, then you just stop. You literally stop dead in your tracks. Yep. We have to step out on faith. And when you become a business owner, an entrepreneur, whatever you want to consider it, that's what you, exactly what you're doing. You're stepping out on faith. Um, you have to have faith in yourself. And even if it's just you doing it, once you step out, there's going to be people that's going to come to help you out. When people to come and support you. They could be people you don't even know. People from like 5,000 miles away. So, it's like you just got to, you got to get out your own way. Um, there's no, there's no, nothing else to really say. It's okay to be scared. Feel that. And then, all right, I'm going to step out. I'm still a little scared, but I got this. And know that you got this. Uh, and even if you quote unquote fail, it's not failing, it's a learning lesson. It's learning what not to do next time and what to do next time. So it's like, I honestly, in business, I honestly kind of like quote unquote failing a little bit because it's making me better and stronger for the next go around. So, I mean, there's nothing to it but to do it. That's that's just kinda that's just kinda it. But 
when I tell y'all investing in yourself, investing in your craft, investing in your gift is the best, best thing, best thing you can do. Um, it fell hard and quickly. Yeah, you, you'll fail, you'll fail very quickly, but you'll also succeed even quicker. Um, that's one thing that I've learned is that, okay, I failed, but my success, my comeback is about to be even better. Um, so yeah, y'all just invest. And if you, if you have a business idea, start with the logo, create your business plan. Your business plan don't have to be 26 pages. It can be a page. <laughs> it can be a paragraph. But really state what you want moving forward out of your business, what you want out of yourself moving forward. Um, if you have a business idea, definitely write it down. I have so many business plans written down. It doesn't make any sense. Um, it's just those are ideas that either we're going to cultivate or we're not some of them were just just ideas that i passed on to other people and they they're going to flourish with them um but other than that write down your business plans write down what you see out of your business write down what kind of um clientele you want to serve because uh, it's like we always want to go to our friends and family for for support and whatever but a lot of times you can't you know friends and family sometimes are the last ones to support you they got to see that you they got they got they want proof in the pudding so to speak um so you that's why like the majority of my customers especially my first customers were people that i didn't even know um so it's like after being in business for three years is i'm finally getting my family and um, a lot of my friends to see, hey, okay, you, you kind of know what you're doing here. And that's all right. Um, that right there in itself can definitely be frustrating and make you feel some sort of way. But I'm telling you, if you keep going, keep learning, keep trusting yourself, you, you'll get there. Um, just it is what it is. If, if that's what you want. If that's what you want. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do a long live as I did yesterday. Don't really. Oh. <laughs> when, for those of you guys who do spiritual work. How do I want to say this? You never know who you're messing with, so be careful. Or be cautious. Um, and I'm saying this to say because I've seen someone and I know they're gonna watch this if they're not already watching it, um, doing some work. And it's not their first time, it's not my first time seeing them. And it's like, you can't, you don't understand the warning. Be careful of who I'm gonna say you're messing with because you don't know you don't know you don't know who you're messing with um and it's like when people choose to do spiritual work on other people it just ends in it, it ends it ends really badly um i've seen it a lot but to, i say all that to say people see you doing your work no matter how much you think it's in the dark people see you so to baby girl I saw you last night and you know I already knew but I'm just I gotta let it be known even more because people people really think that they're the strongest spiritually and that's all fine and dandy that's wonderful but you still don't know who you're messing with and I'm not just talking about me. I'm talking about just other people. I've heard of other people who they know people have done work on them. And it's like, when you, your karma is not going to come back to you. It's going to come back to somebody you truly love. So just be careful. Um, I always say, just give praise and, and gratitude to your ancestors and call it a day. Give praise and gratitude to yourself. 
and call it a day. Give praise and gratitude to your family. Because trying to get trying to manipulate someone into liking you or doing what you say or whatever shit don't work. It's you can't manipulate somebody and think that you're not gonna get caught. Okay, so that's my little little rant. I just had to get that get that out. That was on my mind this morning, y'all. I woke up like, whoa, okay, I see you, I see you. Spirit was like, you got to let her know you see her in the physical form. You've already let her know in the spiritual realm. They don't get the hint. So now it's in the spiritual. Next is going to be bad. But it's like, don't expect to do work on somebody and for them not to protect themselves at all costs. You know, I've been hanging on to this blunt for a minute. But yeah, just let today's message be invest in yourself. Even if it's five, ten dollars, invest in yourself, invest in your business, invest in your brand. Because we are our brand. And it's like me and my husband were alter creations. He's a mystic. We're Columbian Exchange. We are our brand. And if you don't invest in your brand, then there's no purpose. There's no purpose. And if it takes you five years to invest in your brand, still continue to do it. Still, because like I said, we all got purposes and we all got gifts and talents that we all need to be investing in. And even if you don't know what your gift and talent is, just start doing something. Start doing something you like. I don't know how many uh, more days gonna be outside. I be quitting smoking. <laughs> but yeah, you guys. I hope everyone has a blissful, blissful day, a peaceful day, a peaceful night, whenever you uh, sit in the car. Man, my neighbor, man, he be tripping. Been living over here for almost 30 years, and they go still call the police. And if I got time for a Carl or Keith or whatever they calling him, even though he was like that before all this started happening. <laughs> but... But yeah, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, I got a little minute. Anybody got any questions? Anybody got something they want to chop up? Something they want to say? <coughs> oh, man. I guess it's just my hands that are cold. My body's not really that cold. But yeah, anybody got any questions? Anything they want to say? Because I'll be trying to stress these little free minutes as much as I possibly can. <laughs> and if you know my house, you know I only get too many free moments. My overall thoughts on this full moon. Um... My overall thoughts is that everything we've done up to now has been preparing us for this full moon in particular. So a lot of if you've been doing a lot of manifestations the past couple of months, um, I feel that a lot of things will start coming into fruition uh, this full moon. And if you, it's like, your, I really feel like your thoughts is going to come into fruition this full moon. Not so much just the work you've been doing. I think it's a little bit more than that. Um, so, yeah. 2020 has been the year of reveal. So, a lot of things will be revealed this week. 
things have been intense for me. I know I'm not as bad as you know, but uh, oh yeah, the energies have been very, very in intense. Um, and it's like am I dealing with postpartum? Like what? What is truly going on? Um, but it's really just it's time to grind harder. Um, Put as much focus you can on on here, because <laughs> that's what you do. That's that's what I know that you do. That's my that's what I can say is just cultivate that craft. Um, put all your energy there or in your family, because uh, that's just kind of where it's at right now. Um, if you haven't really had your energy focused in a particular place. Um, not to say it's too late, but for for this this coming harvest season, I'm gonna say it's it's kind of a little a little too late. Um, but definitely, I'm kind of excited about this full moon. To be quite honest, with, uh, even with all the energies, but it's just I don't know. I just I got this feeling, and I can't explain it. But a lot of good things are gonna be happening for a lot of people. Um, at the same time, there's always that same. Um, that polar opposite so there's gonna be a lot of bad things happening um that's kind of why i gave my little warning like i'm telling y'all y'all don't know who y'all be messing with when y'all start doing these y'all little spells and whatever it is that y'all doing y'all don't know who y'all be messing with y'all think these men don't know they be knowing oh yeah it's like it's like spring cleaning so to speak it's like if you ain't did your cleaning and you better you got today and I believe tomorrow is a full moon and you got all of today I feel the energy is the day before the day of and the day after so get it done um, this this year if you haven't been cleaning house start cleaning house need to organize my brain. Yeah, got a lot of thoughts. Take some deep breaths. Deep breaths. Kind of felt good. Yeah, this moon. I'm, I'm excited. I'm always excited, though. Like, during full moon times. Um, I don't know. Lately, it seems like I've like my excitement has been more. It's like I'm finding more to be excited about. Which it's like I know there's a lot of good things, a lot of great things coming um, because we've been putting in the work. And it's like, oh, everybody's talking about manifestation, but people need to be talking about putting the work that goes with it. It's like we want to manifest all these things, but we need. It also needs to, there's work that needs to be done. It's just not saying mantras every day. Oh, I'm jealous. Uh, oh, send some of her vibes my way. I need some ocean love. I need some ocean love. Oh, yeah, Spirit's going to clean house anyways, whether you wanted to or not. Whether you want to or not, but when I'm saying clean house, it's being in tune with your spirit and knowing, not trying to to um, be like, oh, no, 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 second guess. Don't think, just be. be in, just be in the water, just be the water. Don't think, just let it all go. Just let it all go. Release all thoughts. And just be. Feel the waves. If the sun is beaming, feel the sun. Smell the water. Hear the seagulls. I love you, though. Hey, call me out. You already know. It ain't love if, you ain't calling, if we ain't calling each other out. Hey, but you already know though, it's needed though. It's needed. It's like you feel so much better. You feel such a release. It's like it should kinda may hurt. 
But you'd be like, oh my god. What? Get a freaking dress on. Like, I expect pictures to be on Instagram on Saturday. <laughs> Don't listen to me, Jasmine. Don't listen to me. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Yeah. I don't even. I was talking about the full moon. Um. Yeah, this full moon. Just, just be ready, y'all. You know the work that you've done. So, y'all be ready for y'all outcome. Like this, this coming. Mm-hmm. Be ready for y'all outcome. Yeah, but any more, any, anything else we want to talk about for today? I might come back on later on tonight. I might do that. I might come on later on tonight. Yeah, anything else? Let me try and miss now. <laughs> All I hear in my head is uh, the Let It Go song from the movie Frozen. <laughs> oh man, I needed that one. Alright y'all, but I'm about to say my ashes with my ancestors, sit, spend some time with them, and then go in the house with the fam. But I will holla at y'all later. Have a blissful day. Peace.